Alex Gauna is Managing Director at JMP Securities. He joins us here in San Francisco. And welcome back, Alex. Always great to have you on the show. Thanks so much. Um, first of all, 2,000 jobs. What do you think? Is that enough? Well, I think it's more about getting the company in the right direction. You can't cut your way to success right now, so it's a start. The question is, is there a sense of urgency now in the company? So do you think there need to be further cuts? Well, or you there, talked there about other some of the management done. reshuffling right now. A lot of the same players from RIM, new roles, maybe new responsibilities. And it's really about getting this company innovating and getting the right devices to market. So what about the leadership? There's been a lot of talk about the, this co-CEO positions, whether Jim Balsillian and Michael Zardis are fit to be running this company and running it together. What do you think? Well, and not only that, but the co-COOs as well. So it doesn't just stop at the top. So really it's about getting the company rowing together. There's still some, at least on the surface, some disjointed elements to the management structure. And so I still have my doubts. I'm in a market perform, essentially a neutral on the stock. So we'll have to see. All right, let's bring in our editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, who's been covering RIM for more than a decade. Corey, what are your thoughts on the leadership situation at RIM? Yeah, I mean, these guys were geniuses when they ran the company together and things were going well. Now the company's not going well and they're morons for running the business together. Alex, I wonder when you look at this, um, do you see this as they have been good at one thing, they can't be good at another thing, or that it was never an optimal structure? Well, let's remember what they were good at. They were the best email services company in the cellular industry. And right now, I think it's more about app stores, about iTunes, and about the Internet. And that's what they haven't shown themselves to be competent at yet. Alex, do you think that they can actually get this done? Can these guys save research in motion? I'm not ruling it out. The stock has certainly discounted off over 50% year to date. A lot of bad news. Yeah, but, but, for, but forget, again, forget the stock. Just forget the stock at all, right? This BlackBerry is an incredible phenomenon, but can these guys save this company? Well, well, let's look at it. So they did take, maybe the market was a little bit underwhelmed by the cut today, but it was a deeper cut than what Cisco just did. Cisco only did 9%. Um, they still have greater revenue per employee than Cisco. Uh, now, granted, it's half the revenue per employee of Apple, so they've got some tough competition out there, but I wouldn't rule it out. What about some of the dynamics going on between the two of them? I mean, there have been reports that they're arguing in front of other employees, that they're not necessarily getting along as well as they used to. Well, I'd like to think there's some arguments going on internally at RIM, right? They've been underperforming, not just the stock, the company as well. So I think they need to have some heated debates internally, and they need to get on a, a more correct path. So what is RIM's best hope at this point? What can they do to get back ahead of innovation? Well, there's a couple of things. So they need to get, I think, close, more closely tied with Android, right? They've talked about supporting the Android market. That's one step. There's been some talk about maybe they open up their email services. They still have the best email server in the market. That's another step they could take. And then they've got to bring out some really compelling devices. And do you think they need to bring in some fresh blood? That, at this juncture, I would say could certainly help. Alex, let me ask, you mentioned the new email server, or their old email server. The new email server from Microsoft Exchange, not so new anymore. You don't really need the Research in Motion email server anymore, do you? I need is a difficult word. They still serve emails better than anybody else in the marketplace. There's less lag. There's more, um, I would say, network bandwidth efficiency with what they do. They've got a strong installed base. So again, they've got some advantages. They're not completely out of the running here. Right. Alex Gauna of JMP Securities. We will be watching RIM and continue to cover this story. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.